60 kilometer apogee, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 100, just, just shy of 120 kilometers in altitude. So it did a little better, a little better than what it did in simulation. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's, let's time warp up there. Uh, our, our biological samples are running. Does this, oh, I can deploy this. I should have attached that to something. See, there's a little animation. Cute. Okay. I could put that on a, uh, for future launches. To be honest, we'll probably do some more of these now that I'm thinking about it because I'm sure, no, this takes 19 minutes to collect all this science. There's 14.9 science worth to collect too. So it's, it's going to be worth our while to collect that. But maybe what I'll do is modify the program. Or maybe just put in a little smart part. I'll put a little smart part to deploy that. I think that'll be worth it. Okay. So there we go. That's 100. That has now, all we got to do is get back safely. We're still collecting science. Our apogee's just over 119 kilometers. Time warp up to that. Point five science collected thus far. Okay, we are now falling. Apogee has been reached according to KOS. KOS, you are correct. Our Apogee has been reached. And now we are on our way back down. A little bit of touch of space for our mousies. It's downwards from here. 